Hey guys, today I'm unboxing a owl crate box. I almost said fairy loot, but I still have not gotten my fairy loot, which is shocking because I almost always get my fairy loot before my owl crate. Let's get into it. We'll cut it open, cut to the chase. I think everyone, like I say at the beginning of every single one of these videos, pretty much knows the gist of owl crate and all of these book boxes. You get a book, some items, and you hope that the book looks fancy. So let's get it open and get a little sneak peek. I feel like I've been in a different spot of my room, like every time I filmed one of these. If you guys have an opinion on which spot you like the best, please let me know because I'm very undecided. I recently reorganized, so like I have no idea where I'm supposed to sit or anything like that. So I've just been winging it and hoping that the spots look okay. So here's our little sneaky peek. It's very jingly, so I hope nothing is broken in here. A little snapshot on the inside. So this is a no, no, December. I was like, what month is it? I totally forgot. So this is the December Owl Crate box, and the theme this month is Starcrossed. So here's our little art print. I haven't even looked at it yet. It's very cute. I feel like every time I try it, mm, it's not going to show you. There we go. The art print. It's very cute. It's very botanical, which is interesting because, like, winter and everything. You would think that, like, all the plants are, like, going away. <laughs> like, it's just, everything's gross and dirty and... We haven't had any snow yet, though, so... I don't know what's going on with that. But we're going to put the spoiler card to the side. Actually, I'm going to put it, like, right up here so I can grab it easily. Alright, so let's just start off with the first thing on the top, which is our pin for the month. I am done with saying that I'm going to uh, open the pin at the end and then forget about it and then no one sees the pin. So I think we're close to being done with the collection they've been doing right now. Oh, oh, it's so cute. For a second I was like, oh, we already got this one, but no, we did not get this one yet. So it says spend time in Cragnadoon and it is the rocks. So it is like the, I don't even... I'm sure it's Cragnadoon. I'm sure there's like a term for the rock structure or something like that. But this is from, um, oh gosh, I know it. Outlander. Yes. Yes. So it is, oh, 12 of 12. This is the last one. So this is 12 of 12 in the literary luggage pins. And they have all been designed by Hey Atlas Creative. I really like these. I think they're cute. I've been putting them on a banner. So... I'm kind of sad for them to be over, but excited to see what they do next. So, now that we have the pin out of the way and I won't forget about it, let's move on to the next thing. There's lots of boxes in here and very pretty bags, so the packaging in this box is, like, very impressive this month. So we have a little box. It says, Forbidden love and French aesthetics combined to make the perfect bookish addition to your table with these ceramic salt and pepper shakers inspired by Serpent and Dove. So cute. So they're designed with love by... I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong, lichen and limestone, and I'm so excited. I feel like Owlcrate loves to give us, like, homeware, and, like, functional homeware. So not, like, just decorations, but, like, stuff you can use around the house. I think last month we had, like, a soap dish or something like that. So I'm excited to see what these look like. They're actually cute. So I was a little nervous they were going to be, like, corny, but they are very pretty. So it looks like they are the same on each one. So let me get them out of these little boxes and we can actually look at them. So I think salt is the one with more less holes and pepper is the one with more. I could totally be wrong but I haven't used a normal sh like salt and pepper shakers in a really long time because I use um, like grinders. But I think these are cute. I've been wanting to get a pair of salt and pepper shakers. So here's this one. So this is the one that has more holes. So I don't know if that means that it is um, the salt or the pepper, but it's one of them. I'm sure people understand which one's which. And then here is the other one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the words on the front. That might even give an indication of what is inside each one. So I'm not sure. I haven't read Serpent and Dove yet, though. I did just recently buy it, and I do want to read it. But I just have not gone there yet. So, oh, and I... I love when the boxes say who designed them so I don't have to look at the little sneak peeky thing and try to read all of them super quickly to figure out who did what. So let's speed through. Next one. It says, the stars that incline us, they do not bind us. Oh, 
So it's These Violent Delights, another book I have not read. So they're really knocking it out of the park. Um, I don't think I've read a single book reference that they've had so far. I've seen the show for Outlander though, so I think that counts. Um, so it's an inspired ceramic tea bag rest. That's so cute. This is so random. And like, I do not feel like this is very wintry. I, I don't know why I thought that it would be wintry. Like, wintry. I guess because it's December. But let's see. It's designed with love by Lady Chubb Letters. I could totally be really wrong about how to pronounce that. But <gasps> this is really pretty. I haven't even gotten another box, and I'm like, it's so pretty. Oh, and it comes with a reusable tea bag. I just like chucked the box. So it says Astra Inclination Sednon Obligon Obligant. I totally butchered that. <laughs> so take that with the greatest salt. It's this beautiful little moon, and then this cute little tea bag. So this is it's just like a silicone. I've never seen a silicone one before. And then it has like a little tag that has a moon on it. This is so cool. And this is actually really nice because I've been recently dabbling a little bit in tea. Um, I'm not, so my boyfriend is really big with the fill the tea, like use the reusable tea bags and whatever. I'm more of a pick it out of the box and use it type of person. But this will definitely get use and I'm pretty excited about it. So I think that's very cute. More home stuff from Owlcrate. Thank you so much. And I think this is what was clankling in there. <laughs> My cats <laughs> freaked out when I just did that. They both looked up at me like I'm crazy. So it says, you are the bane of my existence and the object of all of my desires. I think we all pretty much can guess uh, what this is from. So this is from, oh my gosh, I know what it is, but I can't think of it. Bridgerton. But this is from the book with Anthony and, um, can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. I really, I'm like swooning over uh, Owl Crate right now. I think they're items are so cute and like it's all so home-based like you don't even know my cat is chewing on the tea bag you don't even need to like if you are moving or anything don't go shopping just get this owl crate box and you'll have everything you need so it is a set of a bunch of metal reusable straws so they're gold and then I don't even know if you'll be able to tell but on the ends they're little hearts I wish that would like pick up. You can't really tell, but they're shaped like hearts. And I think that is absolutely adorable. It might show better if I hold them all at the same time. <laughs> I'm like staring them down. See? Oh, they're so cute. And then it comes with a little straw cleaner. I love reusable straws. These will definitely get use. And I am very happy to get stuff like this. I feel like so far, I know sometimes like boxes like this can give kind of obscure things. And it's like, oh, it's a cool concept, but I'll never use it. Kind of like the toothbrush. No hate to the toothbrush, but but this box I feel like is all so practical stuff. My cat is like staring some flailing this little string around. So I think that's very nice and I like getting stuff that I'm actually going to use so I cannot complain. I don't know if those straws are going to have like a designer or anything like that. Um, so let's see. Um, okay, so the canvas bag, the design on it was designed by Wink and Wonders. And it is in Bridgerton inspired heart straws. So the straws are just straws. And then let's get on to the next thing in here. I don't I feel like more items than usual. And I feel like they should have not called this Star Crossed. Like this should have been like, I don't know, like tea party or something. Like they gave <laughs> that's so lame. They gave you like all the things you need for like tea and stuff. And like I know that this is gonna be another home item. It's in this beautiful drawstring bag with the stars. I love when they give these because I reuse them. Let's pull it out. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out of this thing. Slightly confused. Very pretty. Um, it says, the dream chooses the dreamer. I feel like this is strange, the dreamer. I could be wrong. I haven't even read that book, but I'm like getting Strange the Dreamer vibes with the, there's like moths on it. And then here's the quote at the top. So this basket just repeats down the line a couple of times. 
And then there is a little string at the top. So this is definitely something you hang and store stuff in. But what stuff you store inside, I don't know. And it's a nice material, it's like waxy. So even the insides of these bags have like a waxy material, so you could get these wet, essentially. And they I don't think they would get ruined or anything like that. So I want to see what that's supposed to be, because I have no idea. Um. Okay, so it is Strange the Dreamer, and it is designed by Off the Hook Studios. And they're calling it a hanging fabric organizer. So plenty of space to stash trinkets and treasures. So it's literally just, they know how to get us, the trinkets and treasures thing. Like, I think all of us can relate to having, if you're like me, I have a million trinkets, just small tiny things that I don't know what to do with and I throw them in drawers or baskets. So they were really calling out to us. They were like, you know, we know you have all these things that so you don't know where to put them. So here's a pretty basket you can hang and just throw all your stuff in there. So I appreciate. So the next thing before we get to our book, which is very pretty because I can see it, is some paper things. So we got a bookmark. I'm assuming this is um, to advertise a book. It's very pretty artwork. And on the back it says, scan to read the first three chapters of Unsealy. And it's on sale 1323. So here is the pretty art on it. Maybe. Here's the art. I haven't heard of this book, but you might be able to pick up on the QR code. I'm not sure if you're interested in reading the first three chapters. Um, I think that that is cool. And I like that they're, you know, like advertising for other people's books and stuff like that. And something practical that we can use. A little bookmark, which is going to go right into my bookmark bucket that is right underneath me. So let's get into the last papery thing. More bookmarks. I'm so excited. I love fancy bookmarks. I think they're so pretty. And they gave us this really nice envelope that, are, that they were in. And it has a little part where you could peel this off and seal it. Reusable. It's the holidays. I'm sure you'll have something that you could fit in here. A gift card. Anything. I like the way they're thinking with that. Because I like the reusable packaging. I think we all do. So it is two sets of bookmarks. Here are the fronts of them. They're very pretty. I don't know what they're referencing though. And then I might once I read the quotes on the back. And then they have the quotes on the back. Oh, it said, never mind. Mm, maybe. This always takes me forever. Okay. Quotes. Very cute. You might not even be able to see them. The I will say with the blue hair, it makes me think of Daughter of Smooth and Bone, but I know that it's not. Like, oh my gosh. Wait, never mind. <laughs> I retract my statement. Your soul sings to mine. My soul is yours and it always will be in any world by Lainey Taylor. So I'm almost positive that's a quote from Daughter of Smoke and Bone because this is obviously Karu. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce her name, but blue hair, of course, that's her. Um, and then the other one says, for tonight, maybe we can just be Leia and Elias. Saba to hear, which I think she does Ember and Ashes. No, I could... I don't even know. I have to check. I have to check because I'm totally butchering that. So, let's see. I don't even... Okay, so they are in here. They are designed by Kim Carlica Art. And it is a bookmark set with... Okay. Daughter of Smoke and Bones. And the second one is an Ember in the Ashes. So, I think that's what I said, right? An Ember in the Ashes. If I didn't, that's what I meant. <laughs> I haven't read them. But I have heard of them. So let's get into the book. Oh, there's more paper stuff. Wow, they gave us a lot of paper stuff this month. So we have our little cheat sheet before we get into our book. Just has information about the author and the difference between the two, the original and this one. And next month's theme is gonna be courting the Fae, which is so interesting for January. This seems like a very spring theme like it has like little mushrooms I don't even care to bother to get it to zoom it has like little mushrooms and everything like that and every January box will include an official licensed Sarah J Mass item designed by Wolf and Bear Co. Very cool I do love me some good Sarah J Mass so let's get into this book. So the book this month is The Poison Season by Mara Rutherford I haven't heard of it let's get it open before I show you it. 
That's the one thing I don't like is I could care less about the plastic wrapping they put on these books because it just makes it more difficult for me to actually get into the book. Okay, so in here we have our little author note. So just a little note from the author in there. Very cute. And oh, it feels nice. So it is the front cover here. And from what I saw in the pamphlet, it does look very different from um, the original cover, which I super enjoy. That's the one thing I love about Owl Crate is they do forego the sprayed edges, but they put a lot of effort into the art and the design of the actual book. And it says, the forest was speaking and a wolf was at the doorstep. This is so pretty. I love the mushrooms and like just the gold accenting. I definitely... This is so pretty. The pretty books just make me want to read them. Like, I don't even care what they're about. Like, if they are pretty, I will read it. So, I don't know what this is about, but I want to read the little snippy at the top because I'm going to give us something. It says, Outsiders are always given a choice, the forest or the lake. Either way, they're never heard from again. Interesting. That gave me nothing. If anything, I'm more confused, which I think is the point because you're supposed to, like, read the whole thing. But here's our inside artwork. So it's very pretty. Again, I wouldn't flip this one because it doesn't have the title or anything else on it. But this kind of reminds me of, um, what is it, Swan Lake? Because she looks like, I don't know, like she's going to turn into, like the front is a, a swan. Is this Swan Lake inspired? Someone let me know. <gasps> oh, that naked book is so pretty. So this is definitely inspired by the original artwork of the book which I really enjoy that they did because you still get like both. And then I have the title down the back and then here is the back of the book. It's so beautiful, like I want to be her. This is gorgeous artwork. And the back says, every sacrifice deserves a song. I think Owl Crate did such a good job this month. I can't think of a single thing that I'm not going to at least try to use or have someone I could give to that would use. And this is the first time in a long time that I've seen a book box book that I was like, I want to sit down and read this because it is so pretty. And I just like, I don't even know what it's about, but I feel like I can tell a story from the images and the quotes they used. And I do really like that. So that is everything that was in the box this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really definitely did. Like Elkrate has been really close to my heart recently. So let me know what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!